What if the four Galilean moons orbited Earth? So as you can see from this simulation, I've already set the moons up around Earth. They're at the same distances they are to Jupiter. The only difference is we have Earth instead of Jupiter here. But we're a lot closer to the sun. And Earth doesn't kind of have the pull that Jupiter does. So we're going to press play now. We're going to speed up time slowly. We're going to see how long this lasts, if at all. So let's go ahead and speed up time. We can already see... Callisto's orbit, Ganymede's orbit especially, are already starting to go out of place. Let's continue a little further in time. So we're traveling at two days a second here. And within days, as we can see, Callisto looks like it's going to be the first to go. It may just break away and become a planet around the sun. Ganymede's already broken away first. Callisto's orbit is getting a bit tangled. Looks like it's going to slingshot around the Earth here. Just due to the position of where the moon was, it's going to sling past Earth. And as we can see... That's going to fly off again. My guess is it may just escape completely from that. We will see. Europa had an interaction with Callisto there. That's gone. Look at them. They're broken away. So Ganymede, Callisto, or Europa. They've both become planets around the sun pretty much at this point. It's only Callisto and Io left. Callisto with its very elongated orbit there. Just hanging on in there. Let's go ahead and continue. So if it swings by, it looks like Io may be the only uh, moon left at this point. As it is a similar mass to our own moon. Oh, no, and Callisto. It's just broken them both away. <laughs> so that is it. So eventually, you know, they'll just break away completely, all of the moons. It looks like Callisto had a major interference with Io there. It looked like Io was going to hold on, but apparently not. Okay, so again, I'm running the same experiment again. We're going to see if we get similar results or if we get completely different results. So again, we can see the Callisto orbit yet again goes very eccentric. And Callisto looks like it's just going to go on a slingshot around the Earth again once more. And I'm guessing that'll probably cause a bit of chaos. Oh no, this time... It's hanging on in there with Earth, and it's smashed with Earth this time. Oh, no. So, that, again, that destroys all of the moon orbits. They're all gone. Earth has been knocked as well. The other three moons become um, planets around the sun. Right, on to the third attempt now, third experiment. We're going to see, again, what results we get. So, we can see immediately at Callisto, again, looks like it, every single time, it looks like Callisto's orbit just gets very eccentric. That may be due to the pull of Ganymede, possibly, as well. The Earth, of course, as well. Just is not having a good day with all these moon orbits just slinging around. So we can see the Ganymede and Callisto. Ganymede's broken away again. Callisto is heading on an inward spiral towards Earth again, going on that very rapid eccentric orbit. It looks like it has an interaction with Europa, possibly. No, not this time. But again, it looks like it is on a collision course with the Earth once more. So that may be the most accurate result we're getting out of these two here. So again, it looks like Callisto is going to go straight in. And bad things are going to happen for the Earth yet again. So there it is, Callisto. But there you go. So from the three experiments, we can see that it just doesn't work. 